guys. So if you were like me living underneath a rock for the past few years and recently discovered that they came out with these new, no, not new tires, but these gummy line of tires and figure what the hell they are and if you should try them out, I definitely would. I've been using regular compound tires ever since I've been riding dirt bikes since I was eight years old and never had a problem. So when these new gummy style tires came out, I was like, well, what the hell are those? And what tires should I try? As you can see, they're just a very soft compound of rubber. And depending on the tire, the carcass is also softer too. The first tire I would definitely would recommend trying is these Shinko 525s. They're cheap, they're $80 and they hook up phenomenally uh and it's not just me you reach out to most anyone else they'll all agree this is quite a tire especially for 80 dollars it's an 80 dollar fucking tire that hooks up great and i've ridden it in every single condition from wet rock dry rock loose rock loose dirt mud hard pack uh shaley rock I've done sandy hill climbs with this rock and I've even recently taken this tire out to the motocross track just to see if it was a safe feeling tire to be taken on the motocross track. And yes, it was. This particular one is the 110 size tire. They also of course have the 120, which uh, I actually have a picture of with my buddy on his XR400, he has a 120. So there you can definitely see the size difference. Now the 120 has fatter lugs and a tighter spacing along here, which I kind of like, but you can also see that is one clobber of a tire. I mean, it, it's definitely a, quite a tire. I still prefer the 110 just for its versatility, quick turning. I haven't had any drawbacks on this tire other than, yeah, you're gonna burn these up faster, especially if you're Mr. 450 wheel spin all day on the single track and everyone gets pissed off at you. Yeah, this may not be a tire for you. If you control your wheel speed, uh, these tires will last. I got about eight rides, eight hard rides in the summertime, and I'll show you a picture of what it looks like after about eight rides. So you can see they definitely get very chewed up. Now, even with the tread being that low, that tire was actually still hooking up just fine. So if you're used to the regular old school compound tires and now you're getting older like me at the whopping age of 28 with a wife and baby and house and stuff, and you do more enduro riding, yeah, try these tires out. 80 bucks, they hook up phenomenal. Everyone else seems to really like them. So I would definitely recommend trying them. <laughs> 